hello friends welcome to my video in this video we are going to teach the wiring of the digital timer and its setting this is a digital timer this timer has a n base ph base a start base and the lower has three bases Fifteen bases, eighteen bases, and sixteen bases. The maximum output current of this timer is five amperes. This timer works with two hundred twenty volts electricity. For this, we need a contactor. The contactor is a magnetic switch that has three input pins and three output pins. When this handle is pressed, the input and output are connected. Also, the contactor has a coil that connects and disconnects the contactor by connecting electricity to it. We also need a miniature switch to turn off and turn on the power. This is a single phase outlet that is used in wiring. This is a terminal that is used to connect the null wire. Now we go to the wiring details. First, we install the necessary equipment on the rail. First, we need a phase wire and a null wire. We connect the phase wire to the miniature switch. And we connect the null wire to the null terminal. Now it is ready to use by activating the miniature switch. The electricity reaches the timer from the miniature switch and then the timer commands the contactor and activates the contactor. The contactor activates the single phase outlet. First we start wiring the timer. We connect the null wire to the null base. The contactor coil also needs a null wire. Also, the single phase socket needs a null wire, which we connect to it from the null terminals. The null wiring is finished. Now we start the phase wiring. We connect the phase wire from a miniature switch to the base pH and start and the 15 base of a timer. The 
the start pin and the ph pin turn on the timer and the 15 pin is the timer input relay in the normal mode 15 pin is connected to the 16 pin and when the timer is turned on 15 pin is connected to the 18 pin and then the same step is repeated and it has flasher mode Therefore, we connect the phase wire to the 15 pin, pH and start pin. Now, when we activate the miniature switch, the timer will turn on. Turning on and off of this light indicates the disconnection and connection of the timer relay. We can see this in the phase meter light. Now we do the wiring of the contactor coil. We connect a wire from 18 pin to the coil of contactor. With this, when the timer relay is activated, then the contactor is activated. Now look carefully. Now we connect a phase wire to the input of the contactor. and we connected the output of the contactor to the outlet. Now the wiring is complete.
we want to connect this lamp to the timer. This timer has different modes. We press this button to go to the seating and press these buttons to increase and decrease the value. For example, we set the timer in 6 mode, which is a second second mode. Choice mode, 6 mode. Setting the time to stay on 4 seconds. Setting the shutdown time 6 seconds. Relay mode setting. To save the setting, turn off and on the device once. I hope this video is useful for you. Thank you.